Nano photonics or nano optics is a part of nanotechnology that investigates the behavior of light on nanometer scales as well as interactions of nanometer sized objects with light. And the global market for nanophotonics is set to garner $200 billion by 2033. Nanophotonics, combining photonics and nanotechnology, is going to catalyze innovation. Hello and welcome to VAR India News R. Nanophotonics arose as a synthesis of three scientific fields that is photonics, nanotechnology and optoelectronics. Nanophotonics is the study of light contact with a nanometer scale object. This technology is based on the principles of metal optics and plasmonics. Metamaterials and near field optics are two more principles on which this technology is based. It has numerous uses in science and technology, including solar energy, optical microscopy, bioimaging, and optical communication. Many devices that utilize nanophotonics are made from dielectric or metallic structures where the device is structured to enhance the light matter interactions of interest. The foundation of nanophotonics is electromagnetic phenomena in materials. Nanophotonics offers a multitude of promising avenues for many technologies by allowing the control of light on the nanoscale, especially in the areas of sensing, data, medicine and energy. Nanophotonics may also play an important role in medicine such as in the treatment of cancer. For instance, nanoparticles can be employed in cancer treatment. This entails eliminating nanoparticles that are adjacent to the cancerous region, resulting in a plasmonic excitation that produces heat, allowing the targeted destruction of the cancerous cells. Moreover, nanophotonic device manufacturers are merging small-scale power electronics and transistors on a single chip to achieve larger bandwidth and faster data transmission speed. This allows nanophotonic integrated circuits to interface with other devices directly through light. Asia-Pacific accounted for 47% share of the global market in 2022. Nanophotonics also finds a plethora of applications in data and communication. Numerous product de uh, developments such as the creation of atomic thin metal halides and ultra-thin nanomaterials are also operating as growth drivers. These nanomaterials are employed in sensitive optical sensors for gas detection in the environment. Nanophotonics and metamaterials promise to play a key role across an astonishing variety of technologies. Let's look into today's headlines in VAR India. Google asks employees to share desks as a cost-cutting measure. Google is requesting its employees to share desks and switch days with one another from the next quarter, seen as a measure to increase real estate efficiency. This will enable the staff to have a partner, a move which is seen to maximize space at some of the largest Google offices. The outlet further said that some buildings of the tech giant will also be vacated. This comes as the company reduces its real estate footprint as part of a broader cost-cutting measure. JP Morgan bars staff from using AI-powered ChatGPT bot. JP Morgan & Co. has curbed its staff's use of the ChatGPT chatbot over concerns about data privacy. The bank's decision was driven by compliance concerns around the use of third-party software, according to the report. Because they deal with sensitive data and must comply with regulations, banks must tread carefully around technology like this, the report said. U.S. putting a limit on South Korean chips made in China. According to reports, the United States will limit the level of advanced semiconductors made by South Korean companies in China. In a move seen as thwarting Beijing's technological ambitions and blocking its military progress, South Korea's Samsung Electronics and memory chip maker SK Hynix received a one-year exemption from U.S. export restrictions in October. Samsung and SK Hynix, which control half of the global NAND flash memory chip market, have invested heavily in China in recent decades to produce critical chips for customers including tech giants Apple and Amazon. WhatsApp working to allow 15 minutes to edit messages. As per reports, WhatsApp will soon allow users up to 15 minutes to edit their messages to fix errors or add additional information to the original message, which is similar to the edit button on Apple's iMessage app. Along with this, the company will also show a message if the feature is not supported by the WhatsApp version on users' smartphone. Z Entertainment applies in NCLAT to seek relief against NCLT order. 
Z Entertainment has filed an appeal in the National Company Law Appellate Tribunal in order to seek relief against the order passed by the Mumbai bench of the National Company Law Tribunal in an insolvency petition filed by private lender Indus in Bank, where the bank claimed a default of Rs 83.08 crore against Z Entertainment. Puneet Goenka said that all necessary steps are being taken as per law to protect the interests of all stakeholders of Z Entertainment and to achieve timely completion of the proposed merger with Culver Max Entertainment Private Limited. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.